Okay, we want to talk more about this weather right now because it is continually, continually impacting all parts of North Texas. Scott, let's what let's take a look at what we're looking at right now, right in our own backyard. Yeah, and we are continuing to watch these severe storms that are moving their way through uh, parts of North Texas. As you can see, a number of severe thunderstorm warnings continuing. Uh, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning right now. Let's get to the Tarrant County one. This is the latest one that was issued for us. Tarrant County, also Parker County and Wise County. This severe thunderstorm warning continuing until 1045. So this storm gained in strength. Uh, I'm watching this one area right now on the border of south sides of Wise County and then the northwest sides there of Tarrant County for the potential of some larger hail, maybe hail up to the size uh, of a golf ball or even larger than that. Here is uh, 4901. There's West uh, West North Woody Road, uh, County Road 4790. So giving you some roads right near Fairview, uh, pea-sized hail, at least it was being shown up by our first alert hail detection uh, product, uh, but at one point the threat was there that we could see some larger size hail with that. Uh, so this is Newark Beach, Eagle Acres, and Pecan Acres. Let's widen that out if we can. Uh, this storm is, uh, as we're tilting that just a little bit, maybe coming down in some height. That's one thing that we're able to analyze just a bit more. I want to put a forward track if we can, Colin, uh, on this storm as we go back to the reflectivity. Uh, you're able to see that this storm is moving its way off to the east northeast at about 35 miles per hour. So as that's moving its way through. We'll put uh, that leading edge for you a track uh, so you can plan accordingly with this severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, not really popping up there for me, so we'll try that track there one more time if we can. And uh, this is uh, what we're looking at. So if you live in Rome, New Fairview, uh, Keller, Roanoke, there we go. Some cities popping up. Sometimes technology just loves to play with you a little bit. Saginaw, 1023, Melody Hills, 1028, and Brian, about 1029. From there, let's go ahead and zoom our way out a bit more to show you exactly what's going on. Uh, down through parts of Johnson County, also to uh, Somerville Hood County. Uh, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning there, at least for another 15 minutes. These storms are weakening. I can look at that signature and just see that these storms are kind of weakening in strength, but maybe uh, some quarter size hail or larger and winds gusting up to 50 or 60 miles per hour. A little further down towards the south and east. Hill County, we do just to the south of Hillsborough, have a severe thunderstorm warning till 10 30. Uh, that is holding together that storm as we put the forward motion on. It is continuing to push its way down towards uh, the east into the southeast just a bit more. So we're watching that uh, about 25 to 30 miles per hour. So uh, you can't see uh one second. All right. Pelham about 1025, Hubbard 1034, and Spring Hill about 1036. And then the one that was in through parts of Navarro County looks like the uh, severe thunderstorm warning there has been allowed to expire. So a number of things that we're watching so far as we're going through the evening hours, severe thunderstorm watch until midnight is still in, it does include all of the Metroplex for these storms that possibly have winds uh, gusting up to 50, 60 miles per hour and possibly up to near baseball size hail. But looking at the latest signatures, a lot of the uh, storms still are severe, but not reaching that really large hail product for us. First alert future cast shows as we go through tonight that activity tapers off 11 to near midnight and then we're doing all right. But we have issued an alert for tomorrow. Uh, this was the one for this evening of those isolated strong to severe storms, main threats of the damaging winds, large hail. But tomorrow we have a slight risk of severe storms, including a lot of the Metroplex and West uh, so large hail, damaging winds, the biggest threat. Tornado threats coming up just a bit with some of these supercell storms. Here's the first alert future cast again for tomorrow. Most of your morning okay. Into the afternoon hours, not bad, but then here we go into the evening hours again. Some supercell storms developing out to the west, making their way west to east, and then possibly some large hail and damaging winds with those. So the alerts from 3 to 10, scattered strong to severe storms developing out west, and again, an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Right now, we're sitting at 75 degrees with the wind out of the southeast at 8, but in some spots, it's still hot. It's 83 Decatur to 80 in Bridgeport, but a lot of the Metroplex where we saw the rain in the low to the mid 70s. Where we didn't see the rain, Stephenville is still sitting at 86 degrees. Now, as we go into tomorrow, we start out at 74. We warm up into the lower 90s. A front's moved in. It's going to stall. So look at the temperature gradient forecast difference. 90s to then the low 80s, closer towards the Red River, hotter to the south. So it depends on where you are in North Texas where it's going to be hot or f really feel hot or not as bad. So going into Tuesday, rain and storm chance right now at 20%. Some data is coming in that we might need to increase this. So we'll look at that. Uh, meteorologist Amidus Brown will have more coming up tomorrow morning on CBS News Texas at 5 a.m. We're then at 94 on Wednesday, but then look at this. We really start to dry out 
and then we heat up. And that dangerous heat starting to get closer to us. High pressure builds in. We're at 99 Thursday. And right now I am forecasting 101 Friday, Saturday, Sunday. For perspective, before the storms move in, Steve, today our high was 99. Hottest day of the year so far.